Hey, it's me, Giggins. And today's video is something a little different. I'm gonna to talk to you about YouTube. I know, I get it. You've seen a million of these videos where we talk about how YouTube treats the algorithm, how it treats content creators, how it favors more than others, the tips, the tricks, what to do to make it big on YouTube. I know you've seen them, but here's my take. If you're starting out on YouTube and trying to make your channel grow, here are the handful of things you absolutely need to understand. One, content creation. The more content you create, the better your chances are of getting seen. That's pretty standard. Is there a reason to watch your video? Simple as that. You know, what's the replay value? What's the share value of it? Um, what do you have to say? What's important about your video that makes people want to watch? And then the third thing about YouTube, and I feel like this is the trickiest one, is conformity. For example, with my channel, I make album review videos. And on my channel, I tend to be pretty positive with my reviews. And that's because YouTube is full of negativity. Every video you see is like, worst album ever made? And there's like a bunch of question marks and like an explosion or something and like an eagle soaring through it and maybe a picture of the album on fire or something. It's so much easier to rip on something and destroy a project than it is to find the good parts of it. And that's specifically what I do with my channel. My whole medium is looking for the positive. There's so much negativity in this world, whether it's you name it. I want my channel to be one little positive place where you can hear just nice things about the record I'm talking about. I have a really hard time jumping into a project and just decimating it it doesn't make sense to me so like for instance recently a video has come out about the beach boys summer in paradise album i mean you're it's just fish in a barrel at that point like like the material is there like the jokes write themselves like it's it's just an excuse to make funny jokes about that album that's all it is and people will watch it and it continues this spread of negativity on a certain project and I don't believe in that. I truly believe in finding the good in a lot of things, specifically music because that's what I talk about on my channel. And it's really difficult because unless you have a clickbaity title, a clickbaity thumbnail, and content that's gossip or drama filled or ripping on something, your channel won't make it. And let me jump into that in more detail. If your channel has been established for a very long time and your content has been steady, um, you're kind of grandfathered in. So if you've done good content 10 years ago and you had a lot of views then, a lot of subscribers then, it's just going to transfer itself into the future. I really feel like the biggest views are on videos that just rip something apart because people like to watch that stuff. It's human nature. You like to watch things get dunked on. Um, and I don't do that. So the reason why I'm making this video is because I'm just, I'm an avid studier of YouTube. I've been doing this steadily and like really focused on it for about five years now. And it's led me to some incredible projects and working with some amazing people. But um, I'm just curious as to why things don't grow faster or have spikes here and there. It's been a slow, constant growth, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But like, I've seen channels come out after me and have an insane growth. I was like, what are they doing differently that I'm not doing? And it's the reasons I listed off before. I don't do clickbaity titles. I don't have super crazy edits. I don't have uh, super crazy thumbnails. Like, I don't do what YouTube wants me to do. And I'm getting punished for it like i believe in my content i believe in what i make and i think it's i think they're, they're decent videos all of you guys have hung around for all these years watching them and you like them so that's amazing and for me that's like the most humbling flattering thing but like i feel like my channel will never grow larger than it is because i'm not conforming to what youtube wants to do but here's the giant takeaway out of all of this out of all of what i'm trying to say is that if we're all doing the same thing to try to get views, how do any of us stand out? What makes one content creator look different from another if the thumbnails look exactly the same? If they all have a clickbaity title? Is it literally catering to like the lowest parts of our brain where it's like, hmm, clickbaity title. I like that one. Ooh, another clickbaity title. Ooh, more clickbaity title. That person ruined their entire career. Gotta watch that video. That's what gets views. 
So the point of this video is to say, YouTube, hi, it's me, Giggins. Been here for a minute now. Um, thank you for giving me a platform. Thank you for showing me uh, what can happen from a channel. And I'm just curious, like, what happened? It was never like this back in the day. I understand things change and they're going to change. It's inevitable. Change is just going to happen. But like, I feel like it's harder and harder and harder and harder to grow a channel unless you follow the rules. You know, it's just crazy because like, I'm not doing the things YouTube wants me to do because I don't want to. I don't want to make thumbnails that are clickbaity. I don't want to name my videos clickbaity things. I make content for people to learn from and enjoy and chat about and have an honest discussion about music and look for the positivity in a project. I don't want to make my channel into this, this gossip drama filled negative thing where everything's clickbait and funny thumbnails. Like that's not me. That's not what you guys want. That's not going to happen. Um, unfortunately for this video, that is the case, but this is part of the YouTube experiment. My experiment with this video is to see if this catches on purely out of morbid curiosity. Here's your silly thumbnail. Here's your crazy text on it. Here's the whole nine yards. Um, let's see where it goes. So if it works, cool. But I just want to do things my own way and keep making the content I believe in because I know you guys dig it. Um, I've also, as you know, I've never been the guy who says like, subscribe, share, and comment. Like, I don't do that. Maybe I should, but I've I never do that because if the content's good, you'll follow along or you'll subscribe or you'll comment or whatever. Like, you know how YouTube works. I'm not trying to explain YouTube to people who have used it since 2006. Like, I don't have to tell you to subscribe to something. You you know how to do that. Um, I, that part has always bugged me as well. But, you know, maybe I should start doing that. Maybe I should say, hey, don't forget, if you like the content you see... You'll see way more of it. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Like, share, comment, la, 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 la. So with that being said, this video has, one, gotten over the eight minute mark. So it can be monetized. Let me, let me take some tricks out of the, out of the sleeve of the magician here. Reveal the magician's code. Um, over eight minutes, you can be monetized. Um, does your video have something to say? Yeah. So there you go. I said something in the video. Um, retention, I'm sure it's pretty high because you clicked on this video with a weird thumbnail and you want to hear the whole story. So I'm sure it's up there. So here's the other party trick, leave them with something. So if you've watched to this point in the video in the comments below, write, uh, let's write Giggins number one Beach Boys fan, <laughs> something stupid like that. If you've watched this far in the video, write Giggins number one Beach Boys fan and um, that's another YouTube trick because that creates engagement and YouTube likes engagement. So there you go. So there's some tips and tricks on how YouTube works, the ins and outs, the behind the scenes. I've been doing this for a while. I've been seeing the trends and um, there's just certain things I don't want to do. Hmm. You know, I'm not even really sure how to end this video. I kind of just said what I have to say, and I'm not going anywhere. Way more videos to come. Uh, starting in August, a lot of cool changes happening to the Giggins channel, so you'll see those soon. Good changes, by the way. More content. Um, I'm working on it now. So, I think I'm just going to end the video there. Um, if you want, spread this video around. You know, be like, oh, Giggins exposed some YouTube secrets. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, my name is Giggins. Thanks so much for watching this video. Um, if you have questions about how YouTube works, leave them in the comments below. Happy to answer them. Um, you know, I've done this for a while. And I'm always learning because I'm curious about how this whole thing constantly shifts and changes. But, yeah. Let me know your thoughts. Share this video, like, subscribe, and comment. Yeah, like, subscribe, and comment. Tell all your friends. Share it on social media. Find your favorite album review I've ever done and post that on your Facebook. Like, 
I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. Um, I'll see you guys in the comments. Take care of yourselves. Be good to each other. Spread peace and love. And um, create good content because you believe in it. And create good content because you know it's the right thing to do. Make something you believe in. Make something you enjoy. And have fun doing it. Because the second you don't have fun doing it, it becomes work. And it's not fun anymore. And YouTube has always been fun for me. And it's led me to some incredible things. For as small as my channel is, it has been an amazing journey. And I thank you guys for being here. And thank you for sticking around for what's to come next. And for all the new people watching this, thanks for coming in. Um, hope you enjoy the videos. And I'll see you in the comments. Also, follow me on Instagram. Why not? Go to Instagram. Follow me there. Follow me on TikTok. I barely use it. Follow me on TikTok. What the heck? Why not? <laughs> this is crazy. All right. I'll see you guys later.